as you can see, Atlas really does stand up the way that we show in our videos online. And we get tons of questions about this. Zach, while we have everyone here, do you want to provide a little bit of insight into how we made that decision? I mean, it's pretty simple. Atlas doesn't have to move like a person does, and we're looking for the most stable, efficient way to get up, and it turns out this is it. The other question we get all the time is how Atlas is... A humanoid robot walked across a stage in Las Vegas this week and changed the conversation about factory automation forever. Boston Dynamics unveiled the latest version of Atlas at CES 2026, demonstrating smooth movement, active balance, correction, and environmental interaction in front of a live audience. The machine that spent years as a viral backflipping spectacle is now being positioned for actual manufacturing deployment. Furthermore, Hyundai Motor Group announced it will place these robots inside its US production facilities starting in 2028. But before moving to that, let's see what more Atlas can do. This is Atlas's first time in public, and as you can see, its walk is pretty natural and pretty smooth. We've partnered with our sister organization, the Robotics and AI Institute, to push the limits on natural walking just for this performance. And I think we've done something really special. We've also been at this robotics thing for a while, and we've learned that there's more to it than just copying nature. We can pick the best parts of what nature has to offer and do better. The demonstration marked the first time Atlas appeared in public since Boston Dynamics transitioned the platform from hydraulic to electric actuation in April 2024. The electric version moves with greater precision and reduced operational noise compared to its predecessor. Atlas stood on stage, shifted weight between its legs, and responded to real-time obstacles without pre-programmed choreography. Boston Dynamics designed the robot to handle tasks in environments built for human workers, eliminating the need for factory redesigns or specialized infrastructure. Hyundai confirmed that Atlas will begin operations at its manufacturing facility in Bryan County, Georgia in 2028. The initial rollout will focus on part sequencing and material handling. These tasks involve moving components between assembly stations and organizing parts in preparation for vehicle construction. Hyundai stated that the robots will gradually take on more complex assignments as the technology matures and operational data accumulates. Atlas stands roughly human height and features tactile hands capable of gripping irregular objects. The robot can lift up to 50 kilograms, a threshold that covers most automotive components used in assembly processes. Boston Dynamics equipped Atlas with torque sensing joints and a distributed computing architecture that allows for real-time movement adjustment. The machine processes environmental data locally, reducing latency and enabling faster physical responses. Hyundai acquired Boston Dynamics from SoftBank Group in 2021 for approximately $1.1 billion. The purchase was part of a broader robotic strategy aimed at integrating automation across manufacturing, logistics and mobility services. Hyundai Motor Group operates multiple production sites in the United States, South Korea and other regions. The company produces over 6 million vehicles annually and has committed to expanding its electric vehicle output in North America over the next decade. The Atlas deployment involves collaboration with Google DeepMind and NVIDIA. Google DeepMind is contributing artificial intelligence models trained on manipulation tasks and spatial reasoning. NVIDIA is providing computing platforms designed for real-time inference and sensor fusion. According to Boston Dynamics, the partnership aims to improve the robot's ability to interpret visual data, predict object movement, and operate safely near human workers. Mark Rybert, founder of Boston Dynamics, said during the CES presentation, we're moving from research demonstrations to real industrial application. Atlas is designed to work alongside people, not replace them. The company emphasized that the robot will handle repetitive or physically demanding tasks, allowing human workers to focus on roles requiring judgment and decision-making. Hyundai has not disclosed the total number of Atlas units planned for deployment or the full scope of tasks the robots will perform beyond initial material handling. The company indicated that expansion will depend on performance metrics collected during the first phase of integration. Factory trials will assess cycle times, error rates, and coordination with existing automation systems. Boston Dynamics has tested Atlas in controlled environments that simulate factory conditions. 
The robot navigated cluttered spaces, adjusted grip pressure based on object weight, and recovered from balance disturbances caused by external forces. These tests inform the safety protocols and operational limits that will govern Atlas in live production settings. Other automakers and technology companies are pursuing similar humanoid robotics projects. Tesla demonstrated its Optimus robot prototype in 2023 and indicated plans for factory use. Figure AI partnered with BMW to trial humanoid robots in automotive assembly. Aptronic announced a collaboration with Mercedes-Benz to explore warehouse and logistics applications. The convergence of interests suggests that humanoid robots are transitioning from experimental concepts to viable industrial tools. Hyundai's timeline positions Atlas as one of the first humanoid robots deployed at scale in automotive manufacturing. The 2028 target aligns with the completion of Hyundai's Georgia plant expansion, which is scheduled to begin electric vehicle production the same year. The facility will produce multiple EV models and represents a $7.6 billion investment by Hyundai and its partners. Boston Dynamics continues to refine Atlas software and hardware ahead of commercial deployment. The company is conducting iterative testing focused on endurance, task flexibility, and safety compliance. Hyundai stated that workforce training programs will begin in 2027 to prepare employees for collaborative work with humanoid robots. The viral footage from Shenzhen shows a humanoid robot accompanying police officers during street patrols in the city's Nanshan district. The robot is seen walking at human pace, stopping when officers stop and maintaining formation alongside law enforcement personnel. The videos were filmed by civilians and later shared by state-affiliated and local media outlets. The deployment took place in one of China's most technologically dense urban zones, where major robotics and artificial intelligence firms are headquartered. And this is not the only thing this robot can do. <笑>太暴力了太暴力了刚才踢到那个氧气是如果不再护具没有人能撑得住这里绝对会骨折还有下一期吗还有下一期吗老板还有下一期吗有下一期但是我不保证还活着<笑><笑><笑> The robot featured in the footage has been widely referred to online as the T-800 According to information released by the manufacturer, the unit is part of a humanoid robotics platform developed by Shenzhen-based company Engine AI. Engine AI has previously identified the robot model used in public demonstrations as the PM01 humanoid platform. The company has not announced a product named T-800 for law enforcement deployment.
the T-800 label has circulated primarily through social media descriptions and reposts rather than official statements. Engine AI has stated in prior communications that its humanoid robots are capable of bipedal walking, obstacle avoidance, gesture interaction, and basic voice response. The robot seen in Shenzhen does not carry weapons and does not perform arrests. There is no indication that it operates independently of human officers. Its movement pattern follows pre-programmed locomotion routines rather than autonomous decision-making. The robot's role during patrols is observational and demonstrative. Chinese police authorities have not described the robot as a replacement for officers. Official reporting indicates the robot is being tested as a support unit for visibility, crowd awareness, and public engagement. The robot's presence increases attention during patrols and serves as a visual demonstration of smart policing initiatives currently underway in several Chinese cities. The unit does not issue commands, conduct interrogations, or manage enforcement actions. Engine AI previously addressed claims that footage of its humanoid robots was computer-generated. In response to similar viral videos earlier in 2025, the company released behind-the-scenes recordings showing uninterrupted movement, physical contact with the ground, and real-time balance adjustments. In that statement, Engine AI said the robot footage was recorded without visual effects or post-production synthesis. That clarification followed online skepticism about the realism of humanoid motion shown in promotional material. Shenzhen has been used repeatedly as a testing ground for advanced public technology. The city is designated as a national innovation hub and houses major robotics, semiconductor, and artificial intelligence research centers. Local authorities have partnered with private firms to pilot automated traffic systems, facial recognition platforms, and robotic public service tools. The robot police patrols fit into this broader smart city development framework rather than a standalone policing program. China has previously deployed non-humanoid robots for public security tasks. Autonomous traffic robots have been used in cities such as Hangzhou and Chengdu to assist with pedestrian flow and signal monitoring. Robotic dogs equipped with cameras have been tested for patrol observation in industrial parks. The Shenzhen humanoid deployment represents an escalation in form factor rather than function, introducing a human-shaped robot into a public law enforcement setting. According to publicly available specifications released by Engine AI, the PM01 humanoid platform weighs under 50 kilograms and stands approximately 1.4 meters tall. It uses electric actuators for joint movement and is powered by onboard batteries. The robot is designed for indoor and outdoor walking on paved surfaces. There is no evidence that it is equipped with facial recognition software or law enforcement databases during these patrols. Chinese state media coverage of the Shenzhen patrols has focused on technological capability rather than policing outcomes. Reports describe the robot as a demonstration of progress in humanoid engineering and artificial intelligence integration. No data has been released on crime deterrence, response efficiency, or operational evaluation tied to the deployment. The patrols are described as experimental and observational in nature.